Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of our favorite dive knives and cutting tools. So obviously in today's climate, um, sort of knives are very controversial, but as scuba divers, we need dive knives. They are an essential piece of kit. Uh, we had this video scheduled a long time before it became a really big problem that it is currently in the UK, but actually it's quite an appropriate time to be talking about dive knives and all this kind of subject. Uh, actually on our website, Website, you have to be age verified to be able to buy a dive knife off simplyscuba.com. So we are sort of increasing our kind of security checks and making sure that everything is legit to try and reduce knife crime. But as you can tell from a lot of the knives that I'm going to show you, a lot of the dive knives aren't stereotypical knife shaped. Um, they're more designed to be practical, to help scuba divers, and it is a cutting tool for what we need. Uh, anyway, we're going to be taking a look at five of our favorite dive knives. Okay, so first up we have the Aqualung Micro Squeeze Knife. So this is a very sort of smart little line cutter stroke knife. It's kind of a uh, sort of hybrid. Um, it's really the direction that dive knives are going, much, much smaller, more compact, because we don't need huge, great knives um, to be sort of cutting through things. A lot of the time we're cutting through fishing line or nets or uh, sort of maybe some kind of obstruction with, um, with some kind of algae or, um, or sort of seagrass. So it comes in a neat little package. Um, you've got a couple of ways of attaching it to yourself or your BCD. So it comes with these two little grommets. So if you're diving with an Aqualung BCD or quite a lot of other brands, um, they can go onto, a, um, onto that sort of BCD mount. If you undo this little screw here, You've got this section so it can thread over a kind of two inch webbing belt. Um, so for the uh, sort of back plate and harness guys, um, two inches, you can sort of thread it on your, um, uh, on your waistband and then kind of screw it down and uh, that sort of helps it keep it in position. So the squeeze in its name comes from the, uh, so the, the release mechanism. It won't sort of come out unless you pinch on both sides of it, which means that you have a really good grip of it uh, and then out it comes. So micro in name, definitely micro in stature. It's a real small compact little knife. Um, two different versions. You either get a really square tip or, uh, or this one. This one has a little bit of a sort of flathead screwdriver tip to it, which is quite handy. You can also use it as a, um, as a small like pry bar, um, not too much, it's not really what it's made for, but if you need to um, sort of open something, that can be quite handy. Line cutting notch, so great for cutting through fishing line, uh, you get a great deal of control, and you have a little serrated section as well, so if you need to get through something a little bit quicker, you can kind of saw your way through. So realistically, that's kind of all you need, uh, something small and compact, it's not heavy, it's not cumbersome, uh, you're not going to sort of damage yourself or your equipment if you accidentally um, sort of touch it. Um, this is very much the direction that, uh, that scuba diving knives and cutting tools are going. So an upgrade from that would be the Aqualung Small Squeeze Knife. So this comes in a titanium version. So the, uh, the sheath itself is very much the same. You get the, uh, the, the grommets and, uh, and that sort of two inch bar. You also have sections that you can put a rubber knife strap sort of through and strap it to a leg or an arm wherever you want it to. Uh, same squeeze lock, but what makes this different other than the size is that this is made out of titanium. So titanium is a fantastic material for dive knives because it doesn't rust or corrode. It's nice and light as well, so it's not too cumbersome, but because it's not made out of steel, all of the stainless steel knives, they are marine grade, but if you don't wash them and dry them and clean them, eventually they are gonna rust because they do still have iron inside of them. Titanium cannot rust. So this is a uh, sort of titanium, as I said, uh, a single piece of titanium runs all the way through and uh, sort of finishes here at this uh, sort of handy little um, uh, sort of loop so you can tie a lanyard onto it. Same thing as before, cutting sections and a, uh, a line cutting notch. This is a spear tip, so it's a bit pointy for my liking. If they did a blunt tip, that would be perfect in my book. Um, it's fairly compact, it's, uh, it's a decent size. You can still sort of cut through larger options, um, but also a, a small um, sort of fishing line and net. So that I do, uh, I do like. <coughs> This really is um, sort of where most technical divers end up going to though. This is a line cutter. So 
protected blades sort of underneath here. So this is fantastic for fishing line. If you get anything between there and uh, sort of cut it through, it cuts very efficiently uh, and there's very little chance of cutting yourself or your equipment. Um, nice and compact, comes in lots of different colors. Um, so from sort of bright colors like this to uh, your sort of your standard blacks and they sit in a, a nice neat little pouch so very neat and tidy. Um, they just kind of sit there. You can put them wherever you want. They're quite compact, so you can put it on a shoulder strap on your waistband. Um, this one also comes with a, um, a strap that goes on a, uh, a wristband, so you can attach one to your dive computer. A lot of techie divers prefer to have two, maybe three of these dotted around themselves so that they can always um, sort of reach one. The only thing, again, is that these, um, the blades that are used in these, these are steel. You do get a pair of um, sort of replacement blades but again, for titanium, uh, titanium is definitely a big seller in my books as for uh, dive knives because they don't rust. So this is actually the dive knife that I use. Uh, this is the DIR Zone uh, sort of dive knife. Very simple, most of it is handle. Um, the webbing pouch is very handy because it just threads over two inch uh, sort of webbing belt. The dive knife just pushes in there and just sits in there. There's no locking mechanism, it's just the tension of sort of holding in there. And uh, it also acts to hold onto your, uh, your long hose, um, so that doesn't flap around. Very simple knife, uh, very short, it's blunt as well, but you have a, uh, a very sharp serrated blade down at the bottom, so very effective at just cutting through things. Um, so you can just deploy it, cut through things, and then stir it away very, very effectively. No complicated mechanisms to, uh, to get it in or out. Um, it's a very uh, efficient cutting tool. The next one we're looking at is the Scuba Pro SK75. Um, so this is on my list. It's, uh, it's a titanium blade, so titanium again. Um, it does have that pointed tip, which I'm not a huge fan of, um, but you've got serration. We've got a straight cutting edge. It's very light and simple, so great for holiday diving. Um, but really the, uh, the niceness comes in the sheath. So the sheath has lots of mounting options. So you do have those grommets again, so you can mount it to a BCD, um, but you can mount it to a hose as well and you can uh, sort of adjust the, the size and the distance of those two grommets. So if you don't dive a Scuba Pro BCD, you can still mount it, you can still adjust where those two grommets sit. Um, very, very effective and um, sort of comprehensive at where you can mount, uh, mount the dive knife. Okay, I also have, because it was quite hard narrowing this down to five, I do have some honorable mentions worth looking at. Um, this is the Mara's XR Titanium Line Cutter. So this is very much to represent uh, the line cutters that are coming out nowadays. So this has a titanium serrated section. Uh, as you can see, this bit hinges up, so um, you can use it a bit more to cut through larger objects, but when it's down, it's gonna protect that blade and protect your equipment, so it's not going to um, sort of cut anything accidentally. But what it also has on the other side is a ceramic cutting blade. So a few line cutters are coming out with this. Ceramic is a very lightweight, but very, very sharp um, sort of cutting material. It's only really being seen in line cutters at the moment because by itself it's quite brittle. Uh, if you twist it, it can sort of shatter. So kept sort of in this configuration, it's very effective. Again, it doesn't rust, it's very sharp, and um, it's very protected in the line cutter. Um, but very much, this is the way that a lot of um, sort of scuba diving cutting tools is going in this cutting tool, line cutter, Z knife type design. And we also have the uh, the Tusa uh, sort of mini in a uh, titanium. So this, of course, comes in a um, in the blister pack, which I couldn't cut it out of, unfortunately. If only I had a sharp tool to cut it out of. Um, again, much like the uh, the SK seventy five from Scuba Pro. Titanium blade just means that you don't have to wash and dry it between dives. Uh, it's not going to rust. You've got a few different mounting options for it, and it's nice and compact because you don't need a huge, great dive knife just to cut through a small bit of fishing line. Okay, so there were five of our favorite dive knives. Uh, these are, of course, all available on our website, simplyscuba.com, but if you do want to purchase one, you will need to be age-checked to make sure that you are over the age of 18. So in the comments below, let us know what your favorite cutting tool is while scuba diving and why. Thanks for watching and safe diving.
We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.